just stank and shit Made a flip with mine, I was to the bank with it Fresh out the pot to tell me what you think it is Best battles of 2015, let's go I said I speak my mind Anything I seek, I find. I'm just trying to get a piece of mine. So anybody trying to get a piece of my peace, nigga, peace, I'm fine. What up, what up, what up? It's your boy ARP, Rare Beat Entertainment, it's the movement. Yo, reminder once again, starting five, volume one. On sale now, get your pre-sale tickets, get your pre-sale pay-per-view for the low now, you know what I'm saying? Later on, we'll do blogs and interviews and all that type of stuff. I'll break down the whole car for you, how it came about. Uh, why it's themed like that, you know what I'm saying? We'll get into all those details later on, you know what I'm saying? Also, if you're watching this, that means that Charlie Clips vs. Adi Boom is out. That's the final release from the 11 battle double day card, Blood, Sweat, and Tears 3, Lift of Soul 2. We got all the battles out, man. It's been a lot of fucking battles. You break it down, even if you break it down into one battle a week, that's fucking like three months worth of releases. So hopefully y'all fuck with all that content we brought y'all. Check that battle out, it's out now. There's even a message from Adi Boom himself at the end of the battle, so check that out too, a message to all his fans. Yo, last year's blog, man, I had a shitload of battles. This year's no exception. There's 34 battles in this shit right here. 34 battles in this video. Two quick disclaimers. Number one, I did not see every battle, okay? I didn't see everything, and also, I may have forgot some. So if there's a crazy battle, a classic, or just a sick back and forth that went down in 2015, it's not in this blog, drop it in the comments for me. All right, maybe I'll even make a second video, who knows. Um, the second disclaimer, if it's an unreleased battle, then it's not in this fucking blog either. All right, like for example, um, battles from URL Perfect Day to Die. None of those battles are in here because they haven't been released yet. Battles from RBE Validation 2, same thing. Battles from uh, the Crown 2 event. None of those battles are in here. You know what I'm saying? All of those events has sick battles from either what y'all heard or what I can definitely tell y'all because I've seen myself. You know what I mean? So some classics came from those cards, but they're unreleased, so they ain't in here. But let's get to these, though. He say, I shot your pinto with the llama. Now your chickpea beside you. Next up, two up and coming battlers, man. A lot of people are starting to hear about Scotty now. Double M, he's coming up too. If you haven't seen this battle, check it out. Put a strap up off my waist. Throw the clip in the gun. Put a hollow in the face. You done did it done. Leave you hollow in the face. Then it is done. But the bigger the nigga, the bigger the gun. This one right here was definitely a classic, man. Went down early in the year. Can't deny how crazy this shit was. They say styles make fights, man. I ain't gonna front, man. This battle's entertaining. They write in my will of fortune, this nigga scorching. But you done got caught slipping, pimping the flow too wet. This my go-to prep for the sink me. I make that body lean like they off tofu yet. I'm finna catch the dry body, but I know you sweat. Don't panic, Gannick, I owe you yet. Transcribe it. Everything they read over the head. This shit is so brunette. I tried to... This one right here definitely was about to be one of the craziest battles from that card. But yo, third round got fucked up. Shit happens. I ain't even go off, nigga, before I do get in this space like, shut up, nigga. Don't think mama your soul fool. What it look like I pulled from around my knee a long day. She saw that. You take Chilla Jones, who's been having a crazy year in 2015, and you take arguably one of the best maps that we've seen. This is what you get. Like some jeans to react. And Chilla will be like, no, 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 no. Chill out, fellas. Y'all need to relax. I mean, if you keep bubbling coke, <laughs> you gotta squeeze on the cat. C3 versus Mulatto Black. Yo, if there's a top 10 female battles to go down in 2015, in my opinion, this makes the list. Sammy Wild 100s, Mr. Mills, they put on a crazy one rounder. Check that out if you haven't seen it. J versus Adi Boom. This was one of my favorite battles from UW in 2015. They both did their thing. Um, once again, Adi Boom all over the fucking place going crazy in 2015. But I definitely want to take a second to speak on J. Yo, are y'all paying attention? J is back. J is back. He went from the Rosenberg Raw battle to the Adi Boom battle to the Bill Collector battle to the Show Off battle. And it's real good to see Jay back, Jay on his shit, and for fans and other leagues to start respecting him again. 
You know what I'm saying? Because he deserves it. So I think we're going to be seeing a lot more of Jay in 2016. Keep your eyes out because he's doing his thing. Now this next one, I'm sure a lot of people haven't seen this battle. And some of y'all still probably haven't even heard about two of these guys. You know what I'm saying? Got a chance to see this one live in the building. Street status. Yo, they put on. Check this battle out. Hey, call me the Silverback. I took a break, but now I'm here to kick shit. Anderson Silver's back. Take some from me and run, boss. You get silver in your back. I'll fuck your bitch dog and stop bust and give her. I ain't giving that bitch shit. <laughs> this one right here, one of the best back and forths of 2015. You come from a hood of folks. Well, Vice Lord is what you see me rep. I pick up the pump and knock your thoughts out. And Gracie will be trying to catch him doing the beat. <laughs> Care what nobody say. This is one of the most entertaining battles of 2015. To understand what I'm talking about, you just gotta watch the shit for yourself, man. Yo, how the fuck did Dot knock shit over with his sound effects? Yo, y'all gotta check this shit out. He say some dumb shit like I grab the metal and pull it back. That's a fridge. <laughs> Nigga, we reach different. You fight with I fight with TLC. You listen to TLC. Nigga, we creep different. I'm vampire. Whoa. That's some blood. You just suck blood. Nigga, we leech different. I'm talking. Oh. You dead. Go. Say no more. Treat him like Dr. King. Catch him while he putting his key in his door. Blah. <laughs> Let's go back to back with the homie Boom. Yo, another crazy example of a meme back and forth. You want the hoes in street in my eyes, but it won't stop the day I got the K. I caught the K. Your body gon' drop the day I walk up the stocking face. Then I put the stocking face. This bird do what this bird do. Now who you mocking, Jay? <laughs> This one right here I had as battle of the night and that says a lot because if y'all remember this card, the card was crazy. This was the massacre card that went down in Boston. I was in the building for this man, these two niggas put on crazy. It also contains one of my favorite rebuttals of all time. Probably one of the best rebuttals of 2015 also. Y'all probably think that shit Rosenberg said about my brother like, like that shit was intense. Only thing is when I said bro I was speaking in a figurative sense. You know the type you knew since she was five to the day that he died. So you had to hold his mom in your arms while she cried. And she looked at you and said, if you had a battle, that's some shit that need to get done. Cause she knew deep down with that opportunity of mean to her son. See, that's that type of shit to get you punched in the mouth stop rapping about shit you don't know nothing about focus versus your boy clip yo shout out to your boy clip we got him on rbe three times in 2015 and also big shout out to focus coming up from the wall and shout out to the south in general they put on down there yo focus might have had the funniest battle for me in 2015 i laughed my ass off the entire fucking battle but that don't mean that he's a joke Dude got bars, he's crazy entertaining. His style is very unorthodox. If you haven't seen this battle, check it out. Daylight versus Chef Trez versus Adi Boom. Damn, this nigga Adi Boom, man. Adi Boom was having an amazing 2015. You got Chef Trez, who was going crazy as always. He definitely put on in 2015. And Daylight's been rapping his ass off in 2015. It's a crazy battle, man. Another good one from the Massacre event. A lot of people was talking about the battle got messed up from all the side shit or whatever. I didn't think so. I thought the battle was still crazy. Cut you in half with the exacto gut like a mackerel and just pick through him like an afro puff. If you was a real dude, you wouldn't have to act so tough. If you really trapped so much, you wouldn't open your trap so much. Breezy Nice versus Sir Dash versus T.Y. Yo, I can't front. Blackbeard put me up on this one. I missed it when it went down. But yo, definitely check this out. Another one of those crazy three-way battles. They all have some shit. Absolute classic. This might be my favorite We Go Hard battle. I hear out the whole click, click, click. Another Glock hit him. Glock switch, switch my whole bomb twitching. In other words, so many dimes dropping. A nigga yelled, stop snitching. 
some in camo, some in black, but we all troopers. Yeah. Raise the blades, swords to you. Sword horse, force to you. More case, more rulers. Full spray, more shooters. More shooters, more shooters, more shooters. More shooters. More shooters. More shooters. This one right here was a grudge match. These days, man, there's not too many real grudge matches left. A lot of this shit be fake beefs and all types of shit cooked up for a check or cooked up for some hype and all that shit. We all entertained by all that shit too, but this one right here, man, shout out to Hip Hop Is Real. Jims and Cortez, they was going back and forth a lot, sending a lot of shots, you know what I'm saying? And, and RBE was definitely glad to come in and bring this battle to the fans. They both stepped on that stage, brought they A game, did they thing. Check this battle out if you haven't seen it. This is what happens when you take two amazing punchline battle rappers and you put them in the right setting. <sighs> Crazy. Y'all know in 2015, man, that whole two on two thing got a lot of buzz. DNA and K Shine, it's like they was on tour with the shit. And yo, there's no way you can deny how crazy that fucking antic gone wrong was. Yo, fuck with K Shine, he's been doing his thing in 2015, but his fucking face. When dude started going towards the other side of the stage, it was fucking priceless, man. You gotta admit. Swear to God, you wasn't in that parking lot. You a liar, motherfucker. And I knew that's what you was gonna do. That's why I brought these niggas through. Ooh. It's always a big deal when that chain is on the line, man. Pat Stay versus Ilmac. This was a good one right here. Official versus Jazz. I can't front, man. I'm one of them people that thought Jazz died the first time watching this battle. But you watch it a few more times and nah, she didn't die. I'm not saying she won. I'm not saying she lost. But the battle definitely is a lot closer the more you watch it. Shout out to these two ladies and definitely shout out to Official too. She had a big year because at the end of the day, what? The two biggest female anticipated battles of the year. She was a part of both of them. Official versus Jazz and Official versus Lady Luck. This one right here definitely was a good battle too, man. I mean, coming off of that Pat State battle, everybody was looking at Calico like he's in bully mode. And he definitely started pushing Rock around that stage on the first round, man. He, he was bullying him a little something. But it was good to see Rock come back Made it for a real, real good vibe of the battle. Showed that they was both on their shit, both intense, both going at each other. Shout out to both of them, man. They did their thing. I don't want to take anything away from the battle itself because these two niggas went crazy. But yo, Blow is a whole nother part of entertainment added to this fucking battle, man. I swear to God. Yo, shout out to Blow, man, the most entertaining league owner in this business. Tyrese and Genuine, we come singing with tanks. <laughs> XL. They came to play. Put them balls on deck, boy. The fans ignore the fact that I am different. I mean, shit, I brought my third eye and gave the game a higher vision. Plus, I leave her every single time I'm spitting. My alien written's cut deep. I'm Zachariah stitching. If you get it, Block on block crime. Some of the best bar for bar battles of 2015. This one right here is no exception. Another ridiculous back and forth. Chef Trez, Dre Dennis, you haven't seen it? Check it out, they went in. Bar for bar, two of the best female battle rappers to hit the stage. They went in, gotta give it to them. It still amazes me how fast the battle rap fans could turn on you, man. Just yesterday, everybody was saying Jonah was the best thing ever. He was next up. Born was on a tear all early in mid-2015. Born loses to JC, Jonah loses to Disaster. All of a sudden, I guess it's fucked them. But don't forget, they gave us this one. You will not prevail. You don't got a shot in hell. Tell these fucking leads my free will is not for sale. Girl. I said, nigga, please. How you dissing me when you were dissing me? I see you got with the right hand. Daylight still rapping his ass off in 2015 against an extremely prepared Iron Solomon. This is what we got. Crazy battle. This one right here had to go down. A lot of fans was asking for it. All the comparisons. 
You know what I mean? This was a great match to be set up. You gotta be blind if you don't feel like he resembled the early stages of me. The way he dressed, the way he rapped, his whole style is ID. But I'm Chris, he's Neese, I'm Jay, he's Bleak, I'm French, he's Chink. Right, no this or I peace, I'm B, I G. Now he, Lil C's, I'm Ross, that's Boss, he's underneath, that's me. Right. Arsenal versus Shoddy Horror, the rematch. This was crazy right here. Arsenal floating around the fucking ring on one of those hoverboards and all that. That shit was hilarious. Shotty Horror did his thing. Yeah, you know I mean, very aggressive moments. They was going at each other. Some crazy angles in there. Shotty was disrespectful. Arsenal was disrespectful as always, man. This is another crazy one that went down in 2015. Bill Collector definitely came back in 2015. Had a bunch of battles. He did his thing in. Ines. This might be the best nest that I've seen in a long time. If not ever. Uh, I send shots that a pass through bill. Cut his fucking lights out. That's a pass through bill. Uh, Next. Nice wallet, man. Look at that shit face, my nigga. I fear it for my career. Because I mean, like, 42 years ago, you was here. <laughs> Once again, Bill Collector doing his thing crazy in 2015. Jay back on the scene heavy, getting good matchups. Yo, check this battle out if you haven't seen it. They definitely both had some shit. H.A. Double versus T. Riley. This was a good one right here. I didn't see this one when it went down. I just watched this one recently. Yeah, they had some shit after this battle went down. Didn't I tell y'all y'all was gonna be entertained when it dropped? I told y'all, man. I even seen some crazy ass fucking memes going around. Some of them shits is hilarious. But more importantly, man, shout out to Show Off, shout out to Arsenal. They both came to play, man. This was one of the most intense battles of 2015. If you haven't seen it, check that out ASAP. You love swag, so you gotta get a world tour. I guess you dub tour, that's your girl tour. Niggas told me to give a fuck, sure. Headshot, get sentimental, he'll open up more. Trigger fingers, turn to Twitter fingers. Uh -huh. You're getting body by a singing nigga. Uh -huh. I'm sure woke from nothing like these niggas. Right. Drake was white bitches out here wiping niggas. Uh -huh. Yo, this battle don't mean shit to you, my nigga. Nothing at all. <laughs> yeah, you better not repeat that shit, cause I'ma make you regret me, nigga. There's a reason that my name mentioned with him vest be nigga. Man, don't refer to me as a check unless you gon' check me, nigga. This gon' be the realest right. shit a nigga spit to you. You easily accessible. I can get to you. You jealous, Rico. You just want my life. I'm money Mitch to you. Well, I'll put a bullet hole the size of a brick through you. This Nina got a hot 16. She just tryna spit for you. You ain't never front your man work. You don't know that white and that tan work. One driver, three shooters, the sliding door. How that van work? Queen of the Ring got in on some of that two-on-two -two action. This is also one of the few battles that made it to World Star this year. Extra points for the pocket tap. Wait, I y'all know I like going. She like Popeyes. So where the fuck's the chicken? Wait. <laughs> Emmy versus Gutter. I can't front, yo. I missed this one. You know what I mean, but the homie Lawrence put me onto this battle. He told me check it out. They had some shit. Definitely fuck with this battle if you haven't seen it. A lot of people started to write off Philly in 2015. Reed Dallas, Cicero, you know what I mean? But yo, you got people like Big Hands, Zer Money. They came in and left their mark for sure. And shout out to Lotta Zay. This is a crazy match. Is it the shoes? Is it the shoes? Well, you gonna have to ask Mike when you see him. No Jordan, I'm talking Jackson all white when you see him. Facts! Let's go! Yeah, Facts! Talk to him! Pushing wigs back my per diem. If I shot the sheriff, the motherfucker gave me a reason. Gutter versus Badafi Green. Keep this one short and sweet. Balls. Crazy, crazy back and forth right here. I definitely gotta watch this one again, man. I still don't even have a winner, but they put on. Gotta give it to them. A lot of balls. Crazy back and forth. Gotta give it to these two dudes, man. They went in. I've been running over Cannon since Mario. Even then, none of your bombs hit him. Time's ticking. You put my name in a round, I put yours on one. We respond different. You show up. Oh! You put my name in a round, I put yours on one. We respond different. You show up to squash the beef, I show up a thousand deep. We respond different. <laughs> Man, 
because I'm cautioned he'll try to go to his whip. So if people got a thought I kill guys, I'll do J. Cole, because the parking lot will be as far as he'll drop. For this battle right here, I'm even gonna give my winner. Fuck it, because there was so much debate about this battle. There was a lot that led up to this battle. Huge match. Lux versus Clips, you know what I'm saying? I was watching that stream live, man, and I had Clips winning. Sometimes that's what the fucking crowd reaction does, though. Don't get it twisted. Clips went in. He did his fucking thing. Definitely had some crazy moments. But you watch that footage two, three, four, maybe five times, Lux's material just gets better and better and better every time you listen to that fucking battle, man. Yo, and that's, that's what happens. That's the difference between sometimes watching it once or watching it live versus really studying it on camera. I remember when I saw JC versus Tay Rock live, man. I thought Tay, Tay Rock just washed JC in the building. Footage dropped, and I might have even had JC edging. It happens, man. Sometimes you just gotta analyze this shit to really, really get down to your winner. This battle right here was crazy. A lot of people was talking about it, checked it out when it dropped. Yo, they went in. Shout out to Av, shout out to Nun Nun. Charlie Clips versus Adi Boom. We was excited for this match, man, because we just thought it was gonna be pure entertainment. And that's exactly how it turned out. We had a lot of people that saw the pay-per-view and saw it live in the building and told me that Charlie Clips had one of the best rounds that he had in 2015 versus Adi Boom. Not the best, but one of the best. Yeah, I mean, that's a good thing. I mean, that means he came prepared, he came to play. If you haven't seen this battle, definitely check it out. It just dropped. Let me know who you got winning. Salute to everybody that checked this battle out. I see a lot of people throwing it as a battle of the year contender. <sighs> Crazy, man. They went in. Toes blaze, hella troll. Clicking like a metronome. Can to his ear like kids playing telephone. <laughs> Top 10 games. You'll get your body burned. Niggas ain't seen a better writer since Tommy Hearns. As far as I'm As far as I'm concerned. right here is another example of how you could just have one breakout performance one crazy battle for the whole game to know who you are last year to me that was chef trez versus craig lamar one battle and then everybody knew who those two guys are this one right here to me is similar shout out to these two dudes they went in don't bore me with the fuck shit all that oh you sound like love shit look the compliment is enormous but it's really not that important they even told kobe he played like jordan but then he stopped oh, with him you wanna be on that Lux type shit? Fuck it. Let me put on my tux right quick. I ain't trying to be condescending, but how you gang bang and say Black Lives Matter? Ain't that contradicting? Disaster versus Jonah. This battle had to go down. There was a lot of comparisons, a lot of fans asking for this matchup to be made. Shout out to King of the Dot, they made it happen. Yo, crazy back and forth. Jonah, I know he probably didn't do what he wanted to do in this battle. But he still had a solid performance and disaster. This is definitely one of the best disasters that we've seen over his last like five battles. So check this battle out too. This is definitely going to be one of the last insane battles to drop of 2015. It just dropped on Spit That Heat. Yo, shout out to these two dudes. They went crazy. Shoot at your daughter while she's on a bicycle. So when I buzz these glocks, that should have tossed her pedals in the air like, she loves me, she, she loves, loves me, me not. not. Yeah. I'll scalp you with a scalp if you don't show respect. Lil Blade, but this skin is top like the old PS. Be a chicken. Yeah. Budge and I'm killing you. These slugs put an end to you. This ratchet clapping, but she ain't trying to get your buzz to commit to you. That shit, my hand cock is dirty like a smudge on a signature. I'll be heading out more rings than you get to. You get the line, this nigga dying. Lift the nine, you'll see a finger wave at his baby hair like genuine. In my opinion, RBE has three block on block classics. I'm not even gonna get into the reasons why I think that this battle is just crazy. I'm not gonna get into why I think it's a classic. Appreciate everybody that supported the battle. Everybody that fucking went crazy over the battle. Cried, laughed, hated it, loved it. I mean, watched it on World Star, watched it on Facebook, watched it on Bootleg, watched it on a channel. I mean, but to me, this is an amazing battle. Definitely my favorite RBE battle, all right? Writer's block, 
they definitely can claim to be the best group in battle rap. They have the claim. They got the footage. They got the battles backing them up. February 27th, they're going to have their first test as a team. We're going to see. Honestly, I've been, I've been telling people and I already tweeted it. I said both of their third rounds are candidates for the best rounds of the year, period. I just watched Hoops third versus Daylight. If y'all ain't seen that shit, kill yourself, bro. I broke my third round. I was writing and telling myself there's nothing Oops could do about this. And yet, he did something about it. Mm -hmm. Instead of firing back at me, he took a whole nother approach. This might be one of the best battles I've seen so far this year. Tonight, you and Oops put on one of the best battles I've seen in a very long time. And I already tweeted, I said, both of your third rounds are candidates for rounds of the year, period. Oh my God, nigga. Oh my, my fucking God. Mm -mm. Hell no. Mm -mm. That shit got me fucked up, bro. It wasn't even about rapping, it wasn't about crowd reaction, it wasn't about none of that. Yeah. It was about just listening to what this man got to say. At the daylight third, I was like, there's no way Oops can win this battle. Well, not win this battle, but win this round. Like, I'm just like, this is one of the best third rounds I heard. Damn near ever. What I did tonight was real. I showed niggas the real me, you know, like, the, a side of me they never seen. And now they understand why I do what I do. Dead ass. Like everyone was moved. People was crying in there. Those so people crying? Yeah. I'm not even I'm not even making that up. Listen, man. I got two daughters, man. That shit's cold, bro. That's all I'ma say, bro. I shouldn't I shouldn't say it's cold, bro. That shit is just Man, I had I had to turn that shit off and look at my babies, bro. I said, God damn, bro. As incredible as Lux's third round versus Calico was, as incredible as Surf's third versus Hitman and Charlie's uh, third versus T-Rex, I don't think it's ever been a factor in battle rap history where multiple people from the crowd have actually broke out in tears oh, during see, a battle. You and Oops yeah. actually made people cry in the crowd. Yeah, people were crying. How does that make you feel, man, to move people that much with your words? know how the nigga wrote that shit, man. Boy, if that ain't one of the greatest third rounds ever, bro, then I don't know what is, yo. I ain't even gonna lie. You got, you got niggas in the world that say, like, I'm a real nigga. I'm not a real nigga, I'm a real man. And that was two real man rounds. I think, like, that battle can't be judged. There can't be a loser in that battle. And I think that that's just one of the best battles of the year. That battle was one of the realest I've ever seen. Some luck shit. Oh, without a doubt, Lux, Sue Surf's third round, Charlie Clips third round, like, it was one of the realest battles I've ever seen. Man, collectively, this is probably the best third round ever in a battle. Ever. More so than Lux versus Calico, because, you know, that was just kind of like one-sided. And it's a whole nother direction from Lux Calico, you know what I'm saying? It's a whole nother dimension. Y'all see what I'm talking about when y'all see it. I feel like it's time for me to show people what I'm really here for. 